I'm Stephen Harrell from Tiny House Listings, and in this video I thought I would show you how to properly seal a new butcher block countertop. And the way we're going to be doing it is where it's actually food grade, to where you can actually use it as a cutting board if you like, or you can eat from it if you actually wanted to, or prepare meals on it. So stay tuned. Lately I've noticed a lot of people using butcher block countertops in their small houses and their tiny house builds. And I've seen it on Facebook and the internet, just people sharing their, their tiny houses. And I think the main, there's a lot of reasons for it, but the main reason is that this stuff's pretty cheap. Uh, you can get it, it's a fraction of the price of granite and similar countertops like that. And it's real easy to work with. You can chop it to length or however. This is actually a double wide um, uh, countertop, butcher block countertop that I bought from Ikea. And believe it or not, this whole entire thing with actually another foot that I used for a different project was 189 bucks, which I think is pretty good. Um, but what we'll be using in, for this butcher black countertop, I've actually already put a couple coats on, but it still needs many more, um, is mineral oil. And I'll explain that to you here in a second. So this is the stuff we'll be using. It's called Howard Cutting Board Oil, and it's, it's food grade mineral oil. And what's great about it is that it's completely odor free, has no smells, and it won't go rancid. If you try to use other oils like olive oil or cooking oil, canola oil, those types of things, it'll, it'll go bad on you. There's other um, oils you can use um, but this is the best and most cost effective and most easily readily available. And I got this for eight bucks at, um, Home Depot and it actually goes a long way. And what I use is an old rag to put it on and the re and I keep this one completely soaked. I don't wash it in between times because it takes actually a lot of oil just to get this saturated and you don't want to throw that oil away. Um, so now it's already oily as you can see. And when I start over for the next coat, this will already be there and I don't have to actually apply more to the cloth. So the process is super simple. Here's how I do it. I basically just do like little curly cues and then I slide it on. Real easy. Just, you don't have to get fancy with it. You don't have to worry about how thick or thin it is, or at least I don't. Then I come around and get the sides, down the sides, and I just do that over the whole thing. And after you put a coat on, you want to wait at least 24 hours for the next coat. The rule is for the first week, you want to put on one coat every day. Then for the first month, you want to put on one coat every week. And then for the first year, you want to put on one coat every month. And then after that, do it at least once a year, maybe twice a year. And it'll treat you well. You can tell when you're ready to stop putting coats on the following day because this film that you see on here will have pretty much soaked all the way down. And when it no longer soaks down, that's when you know you're starting to penetrate it deep enough to where your countertop is sealed. It's hard to see here, but when you first get your countertops, you'll notice that it soaks in really well and you'll be tempted to put on another coat right after it, but don't. You're actually wasting the mineral oil because then, it, all, as you can see, it pulling up on top where it doesn't seem like it's pulled up, it still actually is. There's a tiny film and that won't saturate completely for roughly 24 hours. So there's some other options as well to make sure that your countertop is food safe and uh, food grade to where you can actually put food on it or cut food. Um, one of them being that I've used before is a stuff called salad bowl. And uh, it's considered food grade and I've used it before and it works really well. You only have to do one or two coats. The problem is it's not odor free. It actually has a slight, uh, it smells almost like polyurethane. And um, also it turns your countertops darker. And I don't like that. I like, this is almost the exact same color as it, when it came from Ikea. It's just slightly darker because it's uh, like a wet look. But um, in my opinion, mineral oil is the way to go. It's it's completely odor free, completely food safe. You could actually put this stuff on your salad if you wanted to, and it works really well. Um, but that's how I do it. You just want to make sure you keep coating this until it becomes completely saturated over the course of actually years, ongoing process. But if you maintain it and keep it clean and uh, sealed, it'll last you for a lifetime. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.